Hi, I'm Anna Shelkin. Hello, Anna. It's nice to meet you. I'm Betty Reardon. So I'm here to just ask you how you got involved in social activism and, you know, how your life has become what it is. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> I suppose I was in, inoculated with social activism by my mother, who was the only Democrat in a Republican town, was very <laughs> active. Uh, and it was part of what was expected of uh, us as we, as we grew up, and then opportunities came along, and I just took, them. took all of those opportunities. Yeah. But most of, most of my working life, uh, I have been uh, a teacher and an educator, but I consider that when you educate for critical consciousness, that's a kind of activism as well. Yeah. But I also have been involved in uh, civil rights, peace movement, women's movement, those kinds of things. You name it, you're involved. Yeah, right. That's great. Um, okay, well, what would you say is your proudest moment as an activist? Gee, that's really hard. I, I think, could I say satisfying instead? Yes. Uh, I think when the uh, Security Council uh, adopted Resolution 1325, uh, which actually had been the result of activism among NGOs around uh, the UN, and from step one we pushed it forward until we got a special session of the Security Council. And this resolution, which calls for women's full and equal participation in all matters of peace and security, yeah. that was very satisfying. And when was this? Pardon? When was this? Uh, that was in the year 2000. It took us about three and a half years to do it. And since then, we have been working very hard on implementation of 1325. Like most international standards, if there aren't <coughs> activists, working to bring them to bear on the situation. It's just a document. So uh, the activism now is somewhat around national plans of action, that is to get governments who have agreed, who are actually committed to it by being members, to try to fulfill their part. But then there are those of us who believe that what we really need is a people's plan of action right. that we cannot wait for the governments and that we can do a lot more that governments can do uh, if we just take the initiative just as we did to get the resolution in the first place. Yeah, you've proven that that's possible. Right. People's initiative will take you far. Yeah. So yeah, we believe in people power and empowering people. Great. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking this minute to talk to me. Thank you. So,